What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrei and within the next several minutes I will tell you my thoughts on rumors surrounding a potential merger with Lucid Motors and Churchill Capital and my technical breakdown of a possible CCIV stock trade with exact entry points. So stay tuned! Alright, welcome back to the channel. At this moment markets are going crazy about EV companies. Tesla, NIO and Xpeng, these three companies are the most well-known, but there are dozens of them across the globe. Lucid Motors, the company behind this stylish Lucid Air electric vehicle, was looking to go public bar by pursuing merger talks with the special purpose acquisition company Churchill Capital Corporation. On January 15th, Alex Cutler came out with an inside source that said Lucid Motors will be holding a company-wide meeting slash conference call today at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Source states that they only hold these meetings for big announcements. Well, it was on Friday. The next day he tweeted that Lucid Motors plans to go public by April, so they can start distributing vehicles by June. They can neither confirm nor deny using the reverse merger pathway to go public, but it is clearly the fastest way to hit this deadline. Then, if you go over the pitch book and look at the Lucid Motors overview, by the way, all the links you can find in the description, it says the latest deal type is a reverse merge that is upcoming. If you don't know what a reverse merger is, then it is a process when a private company becomes public company by purchasing control of the public company. On a pitch book Q1 2021 analyst note, you can see that Lucid Motors merging CCIV and the announcement date was set to January 11, 2021. On top of that, Lucid Motors has now opened job vacancies for three new posts – SEC reporting manager, director of investor relations and analyst investor relations. As is evident from these job titles, the posts are geared toward a public company, so Lucid Motors may soon become a public entity. All these rumors and facts drove the price of CCIV from $10 to $21 and back to $18 last week. But you have to remember that we don't have official information about the company meeting and we don't have a letter of intent. However, after revealing the official announcement, CCIV will skyrocket and we have to be prepared. Well, my friends, right before we get into the technical analysis, can I please ask you to hit the like button? It helps me and my channel a lot. And now the disclaimer. It is not personal or financial advice. It is just my opinion based on my own experience. So let's get started. Okay, we are on a CCIV uh, weekly chart and uh, we have a huge, huge candle of 110% with the huge volume of 640 million. The average volume the, of the weeks of the previous weeks was around 10, maybe 5, 7, 6 million. And uh, from this uh, standpoint of view, I cannot say nothing about this graph. Well, it's a little bit better. We can see the extremely, extremely overbought RSI. This means that we have to go down to unload it. Let me show you. Okay, here we can see a bearish divergence. Again, that indicates that we can go down. But uh, let me see what do we have on our lower time frames. For example, one hour. Yeah, on one hour we can see that RSI on a neutral zone and uh, MACD is uh, maybe going, will go to the upside and uh, on a 30 minute chart, yeah, the same, we have the same pattern. This means that uh, we can even uh, have one leg up on the, of the price and uh, let me see the retracement of this wave. 
we hit the 0.3A2 region. Uh, so, in my opinion, it could be it could be done if we have a clear five waves. Let me see. Yeah, I think it is the best the best what I can do from this stand, standpoint and uh, we have uh, five waves up let me measure the third wave is it the strongest yes it's higher than the first wave and we have a clear spike up on the price on the volume so we have, as I already mentioned before, we have retraced to the 3A2 region. This means uh, with the bullishness, with the, all the sentiment of the market, we can go even up. But uh, you have to be extremely cautious. Because at the beginning of the day, of the trading day, we can retrace even lower, to the lower levels. Uh, here we can see the previous uh, level of support and uh, the golden pocket but in my opinion we can go even one leg to the upside and then uh, we can retrace for to these zones these this is the first and the second resistances that indicates that we can have an entry entry point in this zone and let me project the target of this trade of this probable trade so I don't need this one the target will be around 27.65 so it will be the first target our first target and the second target will be at 1618 region. Roughly at this zone. So at this point we have to go long at this point and uh, stop loss around five around six percent, which uh, with the nine uh, around ten to one risk to reward ratio it is a great risk to reward and around 60 percent of potential profit so the second the second target will be slightly higher it will be 100 percent with a stop loss of six percent and the risk to reward ratio of 15.79 and I have to uh, warn you because of the price movement. Here we can see the clear, the clear movement of rumors. We can see the huge spike of the volume and it can go down even further. This means you have to trade with the stop losses. That's it for now. Be extremely cautious, but it is a, it is a great opportunity to go long at this at the beginning of uh, the trading days. In conclusion, I have to warn you, it is a quite risky asset at the moment. All information for now is a rumor. Is it tradable, you might ask? Absolutely. But please, take my advice with a grain of salt and always set a stop loss. With that being said, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done this before and hit the like button. See you next time.